Yes. You are watching the Hobo and his girlfriend podcast. Brian Bain. And I'm here to bring justice and order in the chaos here caused by a virus. Here in Daytona Beach so that those in Daytona Beach shall be rid of the Batman. Brian Bain. No, it's just me. Hello, folks. I'm the one, the only Hobo Tom. And a couple things. Um, let's see here. Where's my notes? So, we saw Raw today. Weird. But I'll get to that shortly. First, a major announcement. They are going through with WrestleMania, except for WrestleMania is going to be held in the Performance Center with no audience. So I feel bad for all those people that bought their tickets for WrestleMania. I feel bad for all those people that have their hotel rooms and they cannot go to it because I know that's a big thing. I think when I went there, there was a fairly large international crowd. The people behind me for, were from Great Britain. They were confused. They didn't know what our national anthem was. They thought God Bless America was the National Anthem. No, it's the Star Spangled Banner. Oh, say can you see. I won't try to give you my rendition of that. But, yeah, because of the ever dreaded coronavirus. Yep, they're, they haven't canceled it, but they are going to have it. On pay-per-view, and they're going to again. They're help. They'll have that on pay-per-view, so it'll be on the internet. So I will be doing a review of that. I will be doing a live stream from that. Yes, Bane. As I am Bane when I wear this mask over my face. But yeah, I'll be doing a live stream recap of that because my whole live stream suspension will be up by then. So now it's time to talk about some raw. Oh wait, 316. But before I do that, I need some shout outs. I put a poll up there. I think what I asked is a pretty simple question. Because it's March or 3 16. Of course, we all know 316 means I just whooped your ass. So I put a poll up. Instead of doing what WWE did, should they, instead of just have this whole show, three hours dedicated to all of Austin's best segments, best matches? Again, a couple of matches I could think of at the top of my head. You had, um, of course, Austin versus Steve Austin versus Bret Hart, Steve Austin versus Shawn Michaels, Steve Austin versus The Undertaker. As far as segments goes, anything with Steve Austin and Vince, you can have the Zamboni, the beer truck, um, Steve Austin versus Kurt Angle. But it's so king, uh, Steve Austin versus Booker T in grocery stores. There was so much they could have done with this whole idea of 316, and they actually didn't do it. It's kind of kind of annoying me. But those that did respond to my poll, always wrong. You're not always wrong, but you do get the six count.
And I tried to write this on as quick as I could. Pistol Creo 6666. You, sir, are a mash of the air guitar and air drum. So thanks for responding to my little poll I put up. Again, I think it was something along the lines, could anything, could a whole show of Austin been better than this? And they said yes. And honestly, it could have been. Um, this was Roth 16, 316. This was a weird show. Mainly because SmackDown was so good. It was so original. Triple H was there. Triple H was just shooting on stuff. It was fun, organic, very natural feeling. This was just kind of a Royal Rumble recap. I understand why they did that. It's not necessarily a bad thing, but they only had the one... Wow, it was a whole Royal Rumble thing. Yeah. Royal Rumble, the men's Royal Rumble took up most of the show. So I'll say that. Again, it was kind of a it was a weird show. Even the, there wasn't that much wrestling. There was only one entire match, and of course, someone ate a stunner. It's awesome, three sixteen. Someone's always going to eat a stunner. So let's talk about what happened on Raw three sixteen. And I might actually get this up on time. Yes, 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 yes. So, um, to begin with, the announcers are there at the, at the top of the stage. They, they're trying to hype up their show. They're trying, not, trying to hype it up. Uh, they have a recap of the AJ Styles Undertaker hype. Again, how AJ Styles shot. She, she shoot from the hip. Well, Michelle McCool. Sorry, I want to hide that. That's, there, where is this? Oh, that's why. There we go. You get sucked in there. I look badass now. Costa Nostra. I probably shouldn't be saying that. Because that was the only reason I know that's Spanish. Oh, no, wait. That's, that's from the mob. Oh, Mala Noche. That was from CSI Miami. I knew I learned something from TV. So where that probably insulted a whole bunch of people already, but we'll see what happens. I'll see the comments. Might be my highest rated raw recap ever. Minus the one. No, that wasn't even a raw recap. Oh well. Sex cells. Uh, so with this, AJ Styles, so it was uh, undertake AJ Styles under Undertaker hype. Uh, Edge comes out, he talks about Beth. Beth was actually gonna say no, Edge is retired. But of course what Rand Randall Orton did is gonna bring him out of retirement, and then we're gonna have Edge versus Orton. So I think by my count, that's now six WrestleMania matches. So Randall Orton taking on Edge in the last man standing match. It's going to be so there's one, two, three, four, five. This is match number six for WrestleMania. Uh, then <laughs> Becky rolls in and owns 16 wheeler. How does the WWE really have the budget to make Unless it's part of their production truck. 
You should just slide on over. I'm sure it can't be that hard to put it in first gear and just like stop it. You know, she, oh god, I hope she wasn't driving that on the road. I think Seth last time drove when they did that ride along show. And Asuka and Truck Simulator, I'm just terrified of being on the road knowing that Asuka could be driving somewhere. I'm sure she's okay in a car. But still, though. I don't know. We'll see. So Becky drove in. She came in on her own 16 wheeler. Then we had a whole recap of the Men's Royal Rumble. And wow. I forgot how long of a show that was. Because that took up. I want to see good thinking. Yeah, 90 minutes. It had to be at least an hour. 8.30. Yeah, about an hour and a half. Commercials and stuff. I didn't realize the Royal Rumble was that long. Or was it just the commercials made it feel longer? Yeah, from about 8.30ish to 10. Give or take a little bit. Yeah. Wow. And I already talked about the the Royal Rumble, so I'm not going to talk about that. Uh, and then the Undertaker's there in the ring. He obviously came in when they were talking about the Royal Rumble. He was just probably hanging out. Hey, Byron, how are you? Do you feel the powers of darkness? I can't do a good Undertaker. I can do an okay, bang! And, ooh, yeah! Macho Man's best. Not Undertaker. Yes, I've so Undertaker's in the ring. He's going to sign the contract. Um, AJ Sal music hits twice. I'm like, uh oh, is this is this going to be like Triple A, Triple Mania? Is WWE stealing ideas from Triple Mania? I don't know. But now AJ's in the back with a club. He has a contract in his hands. It's already signed. He sends out the OC. I feel bad for them to bring in the contract. And they're like, Carl, Carl Anderson is like, do we have to? You know what's going to happen to us, right? And he's like, just go out there, you bunch of mother lovers. They go out there. Um, they go to the ringside. Then, dong. Lights go out. Oh, no, what's happening? Where are you, Carl Anderson? Where are you, Luke Gallows? Gong. And then right behind them. Oh, there we go. Give us a second here. There we go. Yeah, it does weird things. And then right behind them. So the lag's going to be terrible in this video. Uh, right behind them, the Undertaker arrives, beats them up, signs contract. Match is set. But that was already one of the known five matches. Yep, behind them, the lights went out. And that was the end of that. Then we had Rey Mysterio taking on Andrade. And wow, they cut this match short. Um, for the most part, again, the ring, Rey Mysterio, first thing Andrade does, he runs toward Rey Mysterio. He eats a drop kick, basement drop kick. And Oscar's on commentary. I have no idea what I was what Oscar was saying. I don't even think Jerry the King Lawler knows what Oscar was saying, but whatever she was saying, the king kayfabed translated for her and just agreed to whatever she said. Oscar's great though. Oscar, we're not worthy. We're not worthy. We're not worthy. Uh, and then Zelina Vega looks like she just was in some training clothes and heels, which was a good look for Zelina Vega. I know that much. Um, so, Mesh goes again. Early, early on, they kind of strike. Andrade. Oh, uh, Array goes to the outside. He gets grabbed by Zelina Vega. Distracts him a little bit. Gives Andrade a little time to recover. Then Andrade. Ole! The missile dropkick by Rey Mysterio. Then we go to our break. Uh, then when we come back, uh, Rey Mysterio, again, gets his move set in, hits a Huracarana, and then he does, so it goes Huracarana seated, uh, sometime got a little bit more in, when flying off the ropes for a seated Santon, head scissors, and Lucha Destroyer. 
again, if you're going to be a chain wrestler, even though it's the same move set over again, I'll always give you some credit for putting moves together, unlike one punch Nyla Rose, or and then one punch Chris Statlander, and botched superplexes, and just <laughs> bad stuff. And I didn't realize, only because I think where I was watching it kind of cut back and forth from Botchy Mania. I didn't realize those AEW cameramen were such pervs. They just had a straight up Fuji shot of Chris Statlander. Not that I mind, but still, straight up Fuji shot. Yeah, she's lucky she had just good wrestling bottoms. I'll say that. Uh, versus someone else named Freya who was wearing something way too small for her. So then here. So, oh, there we go. That's a little bit better here. Somewhat better, at least. Interfering with my ability to smash, Batman. It's interfering with my ability to conduct my show for the good citizens of Daytona Beach. Brain! Uh, so, yeah, that's always fun to see. Uh, Ray did get caught. He slipped out. However, he did eat that back elbow Judas effect. Uh, Andrade tried to go for the three amigos. Didn't happen. When head scissors, 619. Splash. Asuka like freaks out. Ah! 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 It's like, whoa. What the heck's going on there? So, Rey Mysterio wins. I'll tell you what. Because it's easy, I'll still give it a cheeseburger of a match rating. And it was funny. Asuka is definitely better than Mauro Ronaldo. Triple H is better than Mauro. Everyone's better than Mauro. That's not good. Then there was an Elimination Chamber recap. Wow, this is going to be a juice ever. So I'm almost done. Then Becky Lynch comes out, cuts a promo. Yeah, uh... Oh, then they had then they had the time Austin. Again, they should have had just a whole show of this. Austin beats Vince McMahon in the hospital. Again, <laughs> it's funny. Like, oh, how's your how's your hand doing? Ah, he has his, his hands in the cast. How's your leg doing? Takes his foot, smashes it. That's also in the cast. <laughs> takes, takes the bedpan, smacks it right over the head of Vince McMahon, <laughs> and 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 then he he did the, the oh. Vince, this is going to hurt me more than it hurts you. And, and he gave Vince done colonoscopy. Which, for those of you that don't know what a colonoscopy is, they, they take a camera and, and, and stick it up the butt and to see if stuff's there. And no, not. No, that's, that's, that's a one way, one way tunnel in my book. And things go out when you, when you stick things in there. No bueno. No, no, no bueno, bueno. Kevin Owens has an interview, and, and he says, Kayla, just give me the mic. He takes the mic. He's going to have a match versus Seth Rollins because he heard the announcement. And it's going to be there in the Performance Center. I know this thing weird because it's not... It's, oh, it's here. Natural mic position. Oh, that's a little bit better. Technical difficulties. So that means now there's seven aired wrestling mania, WrestleMania matches. That's going to be a weird WrestleMania. Then Stone Coast, Steve Austin goes out. Always so good. It's so hard. He, he, and he's so programmed to talk to the crowd. Uh, give me a hell yeah. Chirp, 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 chirp. One of those crickets? Yeah, he got, he got cricketed. And he's like, I said give me a hell yeah. So Byron stands up. Oh, Byron. Num numero uno mistake you made there, buddy. 
Uh, he said, hell yeah. Thank you for your enthusiasm, Byron. First, he has some Broken Skulls IPAs in his hand. I have to try that one day. Uh, what else? Oh, he has his he has his own note cards, too. That's awesome. He didn't know what he was going to say. He said, I better write this stuff down. Uh, he starts talking about what 316 means to him. Of course, of course, he wanted Byron. He's like, Byron goes, hell yeah. What? Hell yeah. What? Again, all the classic awesome tropes. Uh, goes through what 316 means to him is this is it's a day you can can beat up your your employer uh you can drink beer say a lot of four letter words tell people that they're number one with a one finger gesture uh invited byron to the ring to celebrate he gave byron some beer smashed the beers and then i'll tell you what stone called steve austin kicked kick byron poor byron right in the nuts and then stunned him and you can tell it wasn't the stunner that, that hurt. It was, it, was, it was the kick right to the nuts. Or even the graze of it. It doesn't matter. Grazing hurts worse. Grazing takes like, it's like the three seconds like, I just got hit there. When's the pain? Oh, there's the pain. Uh, Becky Lynch comes in. Remember Becky Lynch did it one time. Stunner, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Uh, she brings her own beer. And they just start drinking in the middle of the ring. That's a way to spread. The coronavirus! No! We must have maintained! Sterility! Yes! Because I am bad and I have my mask on. Then, so she brings her own beer. Uh, Byron Saxon eventually goes, so he gets stunned again! Yes! Yes! Oh, who was it? Tom Phillips said this is the happiest day. I forget who said it. I think I think Tom Phillips. I think Jerry Lawler was laughing. Tom Phillips said, "This is the happiest day of my life," and that was wrong. Yeah, that was a terrible raw. Uh, they did so much more with, for some reason, a lot less on SmackDown. SmackDown was a lot better. Raw, not so much better. Um, overall, that was a boring raw. It was a can of soup. So that was it for raw. Um, because of this, <laughs> sear to get this place sear. Why well, can't speak like Bane? While well, I wear my mask, Batman, you wear a cowl, but I bang for the mask because of the coronavirus. Yes, to humble the people of Daytona Beach. Um, this week actually kind of is going to work out good and bad. I'm uh, getting my hours cut because where I work, they said, well, we don't want you working there all as late because we don't think one pe people probably won't be there they'll be wearing masks and they'll be probably like spraying stuff because of coronavirus so my work schedule has been reduced but that means there's more wrestling content for you folks so tomorrow it's st patrick's day i'm gonna wear some green stuff i think i have a green shirt somewhere and be doing a double show because oh yeah I'll be back here some I have to change that schedule up shoot I have to redo that old board fudge knocker but so I'll be doing my impact and NWA review Jumbine! so that'll be intro I don't know what impact's gonna do actually it's been a while I don't think I don't know what they're going to do. NWE is another um, weird circle thing. Wednesday is going to be AEW because I only work till 7.30 then so I can catch AEW. And then I can always go to the gym at night. Yeah. Wait, what am I going to have with my pizza? Or actually, yeah, I can do that. Yeah, that's okay. I can have pizza when I walk. NWA.
I'll watch that, Jim. Come back. Oh, wait a second. Do I have to really wake up early? I don't know. I might wake up a little bit extra early too. We'll we'll see what I. Cause I I forget what I'm working Wednesday. I know I work Thursday. I've off Friday. And I think I just got my day shortened Saturday. But that's okay, because Friday will just be a normal day of SmackDown. Hopefully it's better than Raw and, and just like it was on SmackDown last time. And that's the week. Hopefully, eventually, this coronavirus goes away. And I will not and I won't have to wear this mask anymore, Batman. Because the good citizens of Daytona Beach are doing what they should be doing. Trust me, folks. There are a lot worse things you catch here in Daytona Beach than the coronavirus. I mean, I'm sure there is something pretty funky growing in that kiddie pool full of coleslaw that the women wrestle in. Oops, I don't know if I can say that or not. But that's okay. Well, that's it. So I shall see actually everyone tomorrow.